that Sampat means Ma Lakshmi. Lakshmi is wedded to Narayan. It can, she cannot be owned by anyone. Ultimately, Lakshmi will only be resting in Narayana's heart. Lakshmi has no other place. This is this is this is one very important thing. So when there is this Daivi Sampat, it means it is something which takes you closer to the Lord, takes you closer to happiness, fills your life with happiness. That is then a divine life. And that whatever you are calling as Sukham, I am going to change the word. And I am going to say that Sukham which is being sought by every person, it is not something which is taught to you that seek Sukham. Your mother did not tell you this, your father did not teach you this. Your professors and politicians did not tell you that, that seek Sukham. It is something very natural, inborn in each one of us. I am going to change the word from Sukham to I am going to say Brahman, Parmeshwar. That what is Sukham we indicate it by the word Ishwar. And that is the reason why we have Sachit Sukham Paramaham Sakatim Puriyam Yadvai Bhuma Tat Sukham Yadvai Alpam Tat Dukham Yad Alpam Tat Dukham Yadvai Bhuma Tat Sukham You are seeking Sukham. And this is, this is nothing wrong, there is nothing wrong in you seeking Sukham. Because this is the most urgent and the most real pursuit of your life. You are seeking a car, more money, more status, bigger positions, only because in these things you see that they, they will bring Sukham. They are sought only with an idea that it will bring Sukham. The moment you see that it does not give you Sukham, you will run away from it. You will run away from it. Ravana tells Sita that this is Lanka. The walls of the buildings are also made of gold. There is luxury. There is every form of convenience and every form of comfort available to you. Stay as my queen. Even Mandodari will also become your servant a maid to you. Sita says, impossible. I have grown up as a princess. My father was a Chakravarti. Janaka is also a Chakravarti. Dashratha is also a Chakravarti. So you cannot allure me with wealth. And if wealth, comforts, conveniences was something that could have had kept me, allured me, I would have had stayed in Ayodhya. Kaikai's condition was not that Sita also should follow Rama. Kaikai's condition was only that Rama was away for 14 years in exile. But Sita chooses to go along with Rama. Rama has, Rama tries to tell her that the life in that forest is full of hardships. 
you have lived as a princess. You have never ever stepped even on a stone slab because wherever you went, the rose petals were spread for you to walk. And now you have to walk in the forest. with sharp stones and thorns. Walk on the hot rock. How are you ever going to do this, Sita? It is better that you stay behind. At least there will be Kausalya, Sumitra, Bharat, Shatrugna. They will be there to console you, comfort you all the time. They will look after you. And if you ever feel deserted, sad, you can always, they will always take you to Janaka and bring you back. You can always go to your father and come back. But live comfortably, I will come in 14 years. And Sita says that Rama, what are you asking me to do? This whole Ayodhya, along with the palaces, will become like a primitive and like a smashana to me. And wherever you are, even that forest will become the most luxurious palace. Allow me to come with you. Do not torture me by leaving me behind. I, this, is, this is not possible. I am simply asking you to replace the word Sukham with Ishwara. Now you just look at that sentence of yours. You are seeking Sukham in and out, day and night. Ever since you were in Garbha, From womb to tomb, it is not only that your search for Sukham began only after you were born, even before you were born, right in the womb too, you have been searching for this. Each one of us. Have you ever wondered why does the baby keep on turning, twisting, kicking, changing positions? Because in those changing positions, it is seeking little more comfort, little more to come. You go to sleep and you wake up in a different position. Why? Why did you change? So come. Even when you are asleep, unconscious, this is what you are seeking. Rest of the pursuits I want more money, I want more name, I want more fame, I want people to appreciate me, I want people to call me good. These are all superficial ones. What each one of us truly is seeking is Sukham. And all I have done to you is replace the word Sukham with Ishwara. Because when we say Ishwara, it does not mean some God in the heaven who is waiting for the rest of the people to die. Hey, you know this? I have said this to you. In some theologies, you come across God. I am going to be very merciless. And if anybody takes an offense to it, you are free to do this. In various theologies you will come across, they are going to say that there is a God waiting for you. Waiting for you to take to heaven. And then you question that fellow, when sir, when is this God going to come and take me? On the last day. When? On the last day. Kayanakya did. Last day. Now ask him, what is that last day? That last day means 
when the last human being also dies. If this is the case, that means what is this God waiting for? For all of us to die. And then he thinks he will come. What is this? Compassionate God. Huh? Very compassionate God. Be realistic. We are not giving you pseudo gods to worship. That what you really worship is what we call as God. Whether it is an atheist or a theist, whether it is a man or a woman, everybody wants Sukham and that is what he values the most. And we are saying, come and see what is it that is being sought by you. That what is Sukham, we are saying, is this Parmeshwar. Is Parmeshwar. Now the question comes to you as how is this Parmeshwar? Hey, this is something which we can always discuss. Your Vedanta begins over here. And this is the reason why the Shruti Ved declares it in the beginning. Tarati Shokam Atma Ved. Who is it that goes beyond sorrow? In whom does the suffering end? For whom does the suffering end? And the Upanishad says without a minute's hesitation, Tarati Shokam Atma Ved, Brahma Ved, he who knows that Parmeshwara, the Self, goes beyond Dukkha. Why? Because that he is Sukha. We are not telling you that if you eat lollipop, you will be happy. Those who are saying that if you eat lollipop, you will be happy, which means they have not understood. They are telling you that lollipop is happiness. <laughs> they do not know. Lollipop is not a happiness. Lollipop is just an excuse for that happiness to exist. You all, we are all sitting with different lollipops. All of us are sitting with different lollipops, just fooling ourselves, telling, making ourselves believe that this is what is really happiness. Come on, what we really see is happiness and not lollipops. Whether there is a lollipop or a no lollipop, we all keep changing our lollipops, by the way. You know? Bhagavan, Shankaracha, yeah. Oh, half an hour only. Bhagavan, Shankaracha, yeah, writes over there. Beautiful shloka. Balastavat. Huh? Anybody has? Anybody? Has done? Do you read? No. Stavat Taruni Stavat Chinta Have you heard this? The shloka is, this is, there is, there are different readings of the shloka. In one reading, it said, Bala stavat krida saktaha, taruna stavat taruni saktaha, vritha stavat chinta saktaha, parame brahmani kopina lagnaha. Okay? The word is lagna, and in Marathi, lagna means marriage. 
So the last line says, nobody gets married to Parameshwara, Parabrahma. Parameshwara, Mani Kopi na Lakhna. Because when you are, when you are young child, in infancy, your heart, energy, everything is invested only in playing with the toys. When you grow up, all your energy is now invested in your the person whom you call as your beloved, Taruni Sakta. And when you grow older, all that you are left with is only worries and anxieties. That is what age brings to you. Age should bring us maturity. Age should bring us freedom. Age should bring us freedom to be happy. But as the age advances, it brings us more and 